What's going on guys? It's Matt from RC Overload. Check it out. Back working on the Yeti X. Um, this time I'm upgrading a part that I caused to fail. Yes, I made a big boo-boo. When I last took it out for its very first run, one big thing that I forgot to do was check the slipper clutch tightness. I accidentally left the slipper clutch screw too loose uh, and caused it to burn out. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. If this is the stock slipper clutch, okay? As you can see, this is what's left of the stock pad after one run. Pretty worn down. Has some pretty deep grooves in it. The material's all chewed up. Has some burnt marks in it. And it's just not good anymore. So, you know, sometimes we make mistakes. However, this is kind of going to be a beneficial mistake for you guys. Um, I originally wasn't planning on doing this until it was necessary, but now it has come the time to be necessary. What I've picked up is the Robinson Racing Yeti Slipper Clutch, okay? This is a complete steel spur gear, all right? And an upgraded pad and clutch setup. Take a look at that. The pad is thick. This should improve my slipper clutch adjustments and gripping immensely over stock. Um, and the reason why I'm showing this to you guys today is because I've seen a lot on the forums and other places on the web, uh, a lot of you guys are asking how to install it. It's a little confusing. Well, it's actually pretty simple once you know how. Uh, and for those of you that have installed it, eh, don't worry about it. But I'm going to show you guys today how to install this set into the Yeti. All right. First thing that we got to do, we have the shaft here. All right. Now I test fitted all of this to see, make sure everything was going to work the stabilizer, the actual clutch pad uh, itself and everything. And I discovered that my shaft uh, actually was causing it to bind up. It was almost a little too big for the holes that are on the setup here. So I took uh, some emery cloth, which is a very, very fine uh, piece of sandpaper, and I just smoothed down the shaft a little bit. It's not a bad idea. It gets rid of any burrs that are on it or whatnot. And it's still a tight fit, okay? But it goes on a little bit easier than when I was test fitting. So the very first thing that we got to do is we got to ins install the stabilizer, okay? This is going to be the very first thing that's going to go in. This section is going to go in towards the transmission. Kind of like so. Oh, and it does. It only goes on one direction. And you'll actually see on the shaft exactly what I'm talking about when it goes in. So get that, push that flush so it's flush up against the plastic here. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our pad. As you can see, there's a groove in here. This groove is what's going to mate with that stabilizer. So the pad is actually going to be facing forward. And again, this will only go onto the shaft one way, just like so. Boom! Simple! Next, we have our gear. Uh, I believe this is, you know what, I don't even remember what the gear on it is. I think it's an 86 tooth, I think. I could be wrong. I'll put the information in the description box below. Um, but this is a 32 pitch gear, just so you guys all know. It's even got the vented holes, allow, allow the clutch to stay cool. Uh, and it's got a nice smooth finish on the back side, all right? So, we're going to install that, just like so, boom, got to install the bearing, that goes right inside, push it until it doesn't go any further. Next we have two uh, washers, beveled washers I call them, um, it's just because they are tapered cone washers, some of you guys might call them. All right, so we're gonna put those on. And then 
you're going to be reusing your old spring and your old nut. All right. Put the spring on. Put the nut on. Get that started. If it wants to use our little handy tool that comes with every RC. I love this. I have like 16 of them. I'm pretty sure I don't need any more, but I always find a need. I got one in my truck, my toolbox. Uh, there's one probably in every single room of my house. <laughs> All right. So that actually feels pretty good. So what he, he actually has an instructions guide that will come with it. As you guys can see, this will tell you exactly how to install it if you don't watch the video. On the bottom though, it tells you how to tighten it. You know, what's the recommended tension that's on it. According to him, he says to uh, get the spring tight so it's all the way flush, you know, it's nice and tight, and then back it off about a quarter of a turn and start there. Then as it has a break in basically, then you can adjust it after that. Uh, so it is going to be a little bit tight at first. So don't go completely ripping the absolute crap out of your RC um, until maybe like halfway through the first run when it's warmed up. Oop, come on. So we are tight and we're going to back this off a quarter turn. Okay. Now I know I'm going to need to adjust that a little bit probably later on, but I'm not too concerned with that. So there you go. Bring that a little closer so you guys can have a look. There's the Robinson Racing's slipper clutch gear. All right, all the information about this product will be in the description box. And that's that. So we are now one step closer to getting this thing back up and running. I just need to swap out the steering servo, get a new one, and we are back on the road again. Also note that I did change out my pinion gear from a 16 tooth to an 18 tooth. So trying to get a little more speed out of it and uh, we'll see how well that works. Thanks for watching guys. Very quick tutorial and um, that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time on the next RC Overload. Thanks for watching guys.